Hey guys, it's Spore, and I'm back from a crazy weekend at Anime North 2013. Um, and I just wanted to give you guys an update of all the stuff that happened at Doll North, which was uh, Anime North's BJD mini convention type thing that went on um, at a hotel right near the convention center. Um, it was affi it's affiliated with Anime North, but it had its own little area this year, and it was really cute and. Um, it was a nice little setup in like a hotel sort of basement tea thing with a bit a couple of rooms. So, um, it was it was a convention that went from Friday to Sunday. I was not there on Friday. I was really sad because I ended up missing the name that sculpts competition that I went in last year and lost. Um, so I told my cousin Saffron that she needed to win it for me because she won last year. She won it last year. And so I get a text saying, oh yeah, I want it. <laughs> so she ended up winning a um, Decadal Rena like, uh, sleeping head. Like she has closed eyes. She's really beautiful. She has a really nice face up and her like long ears. She's so cute. So I was kind of jealous. <laughs> so I missed out on that on Friday. But I got there early on Saturday and I was super stoked. Um, the Saturday was... A really crazy, fun competition-y day. Um, they had doll market, which was going on for the entirety of the convention. Um, and that was just a bunch of, uh, you, you could buy a table and sell some of your stuff. It could be handmade or um, secondhand. And in the uh, doll market, they also had Peaks Woods, Blue Fairy, and Saddle. Um, were selling dolls and clothes from their company. They had reps from that came from Korea to come and chill with us. And I managed to uh, leave Doll Market unscathed. I was really thinking about buying something from either Peaks Woods or Blue Fairy um, because I really love their dolls. Both companies, I I super super love their dolls, but. Uh, as you can see, I don't have a new doll in this display area, so there's no new doll. So I made it. They didn't have the sculpts that I really wanted. Um, the Peakswoods, Peakswoods didn't have any of their MSDs, and that's where they would have gotten me. And Blue Fairy didn't have their one specific um, tiny that I wanted, so I was safe. Um, <laughs> So on Saturday, I did end up buying this outfit from Saddle though. This is an outfit that I bought for Spencer. And it's really cute. I love the green pants and then the little sweater. It has a scarf too, I didn't put it on him. But I thought he looked super adorable. I ended up buying stuff only for my um, my smaller dolls. Again, my SDs got neglected. They seem to get neglected all the time. And I also, at the doll market on Sunday, I got this wig, this um, MSD wig that I thought I could just use with any of my girls, and it's really cute. It's a leak, or uh, no, it's a Lutz wig. I got it. It's a secondhand Lutz wig that I got, so I thought that one was really cute. But I digress. Um, so Saturday, on Saturday there were two competitions that I entered. The first one was the Doll Masquerade, Square Enix themed. Um, so I entered my Soul Doll Star dressed as Beatrix from Final Fantasy IX. And um, I don't really, I maybe I'll throw a couple pics in. I took a couple pictures, but there was someone there that was taking photos of everything. And he, um, he has fantastic photography. So I'm kind of just waiting for that all those pictures to come up on Facebook because I know they will. So I didn't really take a lot of pictures of other dolls um, because I knew that nicer, better photos would be coming. Um... So I'm sure that my cosplay will be up there too. It'll be on the uh, Doll North Facebook page. If you want to check it out, I'll um, put a link down. Um, so I dressed my doll up as uh, Beatrix from Final Fantasy IX, as I said. And I was expecting uh, a whole bunch of uh, Final Fantasy VII. I was expecting a bunch of Kingdom Hearts. And you know what? There wasn't. There was no Final Fantasy VII. And I was really surprised. And Final Fantasy IX was probably the most popular there. There was another girl uh, at the table right beside me. She dressed her doll up as um, someone from Final Fantasy IX. And 
I was so sad because I got there and there was another girl who had a mini fee dressed up as Beatrix and I was like Beatrix isn't even a main character she's like just a cool secondary character and she, her mini fee was doing this really sweet pose and I was like oh my god So I went up to her and I just had to talk to her because I just had to. And she was so, so nice. And I actually, she was so nice. She came over to me and she was complimenting my dolls. And uh, yeah, she was adorable. So I didn't feel so bad. But uh, it was my first year doing a doll masquerade type thing. And there were some crazy good outfits. Like insane. They were crazy. The winners ended up being someone who did a couple of um, Nightmare Before Christmas characters, uh, Jack Skellington and Sally. I'm actually not really that familiar with Nightmare Before Christmas, but I'm assuming that the reason they allowed that was because they were in King Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. But they went they went crazy. Like, they totally did the whole face up. The whole doll was dyed. Um, they had a giant background. Like, yeah, it was crazy. So they got first place. Um... And the, um, there was also like a, a vote that you could, the, uh, there was like a viewer's choice type of thing. Like, um, anyone who came in to look at the dolls could put in a vote and they, they were, uh, they ended up voting for, um, someone who dressed their doll up as, I think her name is Fran from Final Fantasy 12, 13. I'm actually, I'm not familiar with the uh, Final Fantasies, but she's a bunny girl. And she had like a big bow and she had a whole stand and her whole outfit was like really crazy. It was awesome. So yeah, there were some crazy awesome good people. Um, so I ended up, well I didn't place obviously, which was fine. Because I ended up getting this outfit as a, uh, for Maddie as a um, participation prize. And it's really cute. It's a Dalmore outfit. Uh, the top and the hat Oop. was my participation prize. You got to pick from like a, a prize bin. And she looks really cute, so it's fine. I didn't win, but um, yeah. The prizes this year at Doll North too. They were there were so many dolls that you could win. There were at, there were about twenty dolls just for like for competitions. And for raffle prizes, there are about 20, maybe a little less. Um, so there were lots of opportunities to win dolls or doll heads. So after the masquerade was over, um, I decided to participate in the Project Runway, which I did last year, um, which is where they have a mystery material that you use to make an outfit for your doll. So you have to strip them all the way down. I brought Maddie because um, I could carry her around because I had all my other doll um, stuff for the, the masquerade. So you strip your doll down and then they give you this mystery material. Last year it was packing materials. This year it was aluminum foil and you have to create an outfit within an hour. So everyone went crazy and they made outfits out of aluminum foil. I'll throw a few, I'll, I did take pictures of these because they were really crazy. Uh, they were awesome. And uh, I'll throw those in here. So yeah, um, I don't know, mine ended up being like a weird butterfly thing. Um, tinfoil actually ended up being not the best material to make outfits for. Kind of scratched up some dolls and I don't know. But they ended up being really awesome. And my friend's friend was the winner of that, so she, she ended up winning a doll. And... My cousin, Saffron, came in third with her, like, really genius idea to make an alien believer person with a tinfoil hat. Uh, so she got third, and she got, like, a bunch of, um, she got, like, a prize bag with a bunch of stuff in it. So it was really cool. And then for that, I ended up uh, just getting a participation prize again. So I picked out this top. It's a, a USD top. It's cute. 
So that's for Maddie too. She ended up getting the free stuff. So that was Saturday. Um, after that, I did some other, a few little things here and there. I don't even really remember. But that was, those were the major points uh, for Saturday. Also on Saturday, I ended up meeting up with my friend and fellow YouTube subscriber, um, HD16. She's really awesome, and I love her. And so I was really glad to meet up with her again. And I've got a little video clip that I'm going to throw in in a bit that shows her. But um, watch her YouTube. Oh, another thing that happened on Saturday. Um, before I was waiting, when I was waiting to go into the first competition, um, a really sweet girl who had a dream of doll. Uh, I can't remember what the sculpt was. I don't think I even asked her. Um, in a really gorgeous outfit. She was uh, dressed up as Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. And I remember her first name, but I'm not going to say it because maybe she doesn't want me to say that. Um, she came up to me and she was like, hey, I watch your YouTube. And I was really happy. She made my day. She was so sweet. So I was, I was so glad. I was like, wow, someone watches me. You guys are watching me. And I was really sweet of her and I really love her. So yay. Thank you. I hope I meet you again. Comment so I can <laughs> so I can talk to you. You were really sweet. So yeah, that was Saturday. Then on Sunday, uh, it was the annual doll meet and the raffle prize drawing thingy. So I bought some raffle tickets. They were raffling off um, a whole bunch of dolls. Uh, but the ones that I put the most tickets in were for uh, a gorgeous Peaks Woods SD and um, a Lottie Yellow. It's really cute. They also had they had a Blue Fairy. They had uh, two Saddle doll, uh, SDs. They had um, Bat Chicks was there. She donated a doll, and there was a Lily Cat doll. There were a few others. Oh, there was a Kroby doll. Kroby had donated a Kroby doll, Lance. Um, so there was there was him too, and there was there was a few more. Maybe I'm missing. There are there were six boxes for raffles. There were six dolls that were they were raffling. Then there were they had a couple bonus dolls that they also um, raffled off. So I checked out the market again that day. That's when I bought this outfit and the wig. And then I sat in on the raffles and I didn't win anything. But there was a really huge meet and a giant turnout and I'm going to throw in a video here of what happened on that day. Hey guys, it's Spore here and I'm with HD16, the awesome YouTuber who has some awesome cool dolls. And we're here at Doll North and it's really exciting and there's lots of dolls and there's Alex, she's here, she Alex. made it. Hi. Um, so I'm just going to go around and take a little video of some of the dolls that we have set up here. And then they're going to do some raffles and stuff. And um, yeah, it's kind of awkward. So, so uh, there'll be more videos later. But please enjoy. Wait, you should introduce them to our dolls. Uh, okay. Here's our dolls. Oh, no, wait. We can't switch the camera. Never mind, wait. Okay, so here are the fantastic dolls that belong to the fabulous HD16. We have Yitriam in the front and Lulu in the back and a tiny little thimble off to the side. So darn cute. I'm going to do a close up here. Look at that face. Back up behind are my dolls. Nora and Spencer just chilling. Nora's looking evil, like always. I don't, I can't get a good angle of her. <laughs> In front of them, we have Alex's dolls. Uh, Lazul is the little one in the front. Knox is behind, and our robot friend Dorian. And Saffron slash Holly's dolls are somewhere around here. So our dolls are set up over here, nice and cutely. Dolly Chan, look at the dolls. Take a video of all the dolls here. I know. I know, they're so nice. Yeah, there's so many nice dolls. And there's more dolls over there. 
There's a lot of dolls. You can see so many dolls, but they're going to start announcing prizes, so I can't show you any more. But there's lots of dolls over here and everywhere, and it's really awesome. And yeah, there's my boyfriend right there. Uh -huh. So yeah, so there was like a big meetup thingy, and that's when they did the raffles, like I said. Um, and I didn't win. I, I wish I took more videos when I was at the con. Uh, it got really crazy and I kind of forgot everything that I was supposed to be doing while I was there. Um, I had a couple people I was supposed to be doing a few things for and I ended up not. Uh, I, I really, like I wish I took a video of just the doll market and all the dolls that were there for sale to show all their beautiful faces. But it was a really it was a really fun time. Um, a really big turnout. There were lots of people there, especially at the time of the raffle. Um, outside of the two rooms that they had, the room with the competitions and everything in it, and then there was the room with the uh, the uh, marketplace. They had um, a bunch of really nice display areas set up that you could um, take photos of your dolls. And they had a doll care table, which was cool. So if you needed help restringing or um, any sort of doll care sort of thing, you could go and um, ask them. And then they had like chairs set up and stuff where you could sit around. So that was Doll North. It was really fun. I had a great time. And this video is really long. It's so long. So thanks for sticking through it. And I will catch you later. Oh, one other thing. Another thing. Shout out to Dalmar for being awesome. They gave us these free care packages. So you could go in and just, they were handing them out. So they've got eyelashes and string and a button and a bookmark tape thing. And that was really sweet. Dalmar, you are awesome. I love you. I love a lot of things today.